I'm Michaela Kathleen and in this video I'm doing another top 10. Feels like it's been a while since I've done a top 10 so excited to get back into it and this one is an exciting one. I'm doing my top 10 favorite superhero media I guess because I'm including TV shows and movies. <laughs> but yeah and actually right before starting the video I remembered another TV show that I had forgotten about, and that is The Boys, which is a great superhero show. When I thought of it a few minutes ago, I was like, hmm, do I need to make that my number 10? But I'm just gonna mention it here as an honorable mention. But it's a really interesting superhero TV show because it really flips a lot of the like common superhero stuff on its head because most of the superheroes on the show are really actually villains. <laughs> And it's an interesting examination of like, some of them start out legitimately wanting to be superheroes, but then just kind of became corrupted by the power. And of course, superheroes in the world of the boys have been like, really monetized, which is part of the corruption. So a very interesting take on superheroes and definitely gets a big honorable mention. But moving on to the actual list, I'm starting with I think kind of a controversial one because I don't think it would be in a lot of people's top 10, and that is Avengers Age of Ultron. I think this is probably the least liked Avengers movie, and I do kind of get it, but I actually just really enjoy Ultron as a villain. I know he's a pretty prototypical robot who takes like his programming and flips it on his head and thinks I have to destroy all humans to protect humans from humans kind of a thing, which is a very common trope, but I just really enjoy it. <laughs> I think Ultron is creepy and like the scene where he kills, spoiler alert, the scene where he kills Jarvis was very dramatic to me. So yeah, I really enjoy Ultron as a villain, and so I really like Avengers Age of Ultron. But moving on, number nine on my list is Netflix's Jessica Jones. Netflix did a whole range of TV shows a few years back that were all interconnected, and they had some real hits and some real misses, and Jessica Jones for me was a hit. Again, mostly because of the villain. I found his power of being able to control people really interesting. And so I really mostly love the first season of Jessica Jones. But next, number eight on my list is Kick-Ass. Again, this one's kind of a bit of a twist on the superhero genre. This movie takes place in like a normal world that doesn't have superheroes and supervillains, but it does have comics. And so this kid decides to try to become a superhero. He doesn't have superpowers, but he decides to try to become a superhero because he doesn't get why no one has ever tried to become a superhero in real life, which I think is just a really fun concept. And it's a really funny movie. And it's got a similar like, gritty dark tone as the boys does. Next, number seven on my list is Avengers Infinity War. I think Endgame is the only Avengers movie that is not on this list. I liked Infinity War a lot better than Endgame. I don't think that's a super popular opinion, but to me Infinity War was just way more dramatic since it did have that ending where the heroes lose so dramatically which is not a typical ending for a superhero movie. And this was the first like really, really, really big team up, which obviously we got in Endgame as well. But, and even though it was technically a bigger team up than Infinity War, it really, Infinity War had already done that big team up thing. Cause I feel like there comes a point where you have so many that it doesn't feel that much more dramatic than how many we already had for this movie. So yeah really like Infinity War for all the new things that it did and that really dramatic ending. Next, number six on my list is Thor Ragnarok. Again, this movie is just hilarious. It's just got the perfect tone all the way throughout. It made me actually like Thor, which is a character I never cared much about. And yeah, honestly, this one was just a fun time. Next, number five on my list is the last TV show on the list, and that is Netflix's Daredevil. This is one of my favorite TV shows of all time. 
not even just in the superhero genre. I think it is so well done. It just has this feeling of like quality, I guess. <laughs> the acting is great. The tone is great. The fight scenes are really good. I love how the fight scenes are choreographed which is not something I usually really pay attention to. Again, much like with Jessica Jones, season one of Daredevil is by far my favorite season. I just recently rewatched it and had a real good time, but I only rewatched the first season because I was like, I don't have time for the other two. <laughs> but yeah, love this one a lot. Even down to the intro, like the intro music always gets me so pumped, I don't know why. <laughs> the characters are all so great. I love Foggy, he's adorable, of course but Fisk is such an interesting villain. Of course, Daredevil himself is great. <laughs> I really like Karen, just the entire cast really nails it. But moving on, that was the halfway point of the list. Next, number four is Avengers. This is my highest rated Avengers movie. I still think the first one is the best. It's the classic. This is the movie that really got me into Marvel in general. Before that, I was mostly just a Spider-Man fan. It's the original team up, the first team up. I feel like this is when everyone knew that Marvel had truly arrived. And yeah, it's just still so good. I feel like it's just got the perfect balance of comedy and action. It's got like the most classic Marvel tone, I feel. So yeah, a real classic. Next, getting into the top three here, I've got Deadpool. Just waiting for him to get into the MCU, honestly. <laughs> Again, this is another one that is just so hilarious. And this spot is kind of held by Deadpool and Deadpool 2. I love them both. I like Deadpool a little better. But yeah, just the whole Deadpool series here in the number three spot. Of course, Ryan Reynolds is just so enjoyable to watch always in anything that he's in, but especially as Deadpool. So yeah, again, just hoping this breaks its way into the MCU properly. <laughs> Next, number two on my list is The Dark Knight and The Dark Knight Rises, but mostly The Dark Knight and not Batman Begins at all. I think that movie's very boring. <laughs> but yeah, of course here, it's all about Heath Ledger as Joker. It is just one of the most impressive acting performances ever on screen, in my opinion. <laughs> and yeah, this one has the dark gritty tone, which I like to have occasionally. I feel like it was just so well done in these movies. And yeah, again, this is just one where I basically just, anytime the Joker's not on screen, I'm just waiting for him to be on screen. I could string together the scenes that are the Joker and just watch those on repeat. And finally, number one on my list is Spider-Man. And by this, I mean any Spider-Man movie. <laughs> I love Spider-Man as a character so much. Truly, if you asked me to rank the Spider-Man movies, I don't know if I could do it. I love the classic Spider-Mans. They are what I grew up with. I love the Andrew Garfield Spider-Mans. I wish that he had gotten three movies. I, it truly boggles me that those movies didn't do well because I love them. Andrew Garfield was just such a great Spider-Man, such a great Peter Parker. He honestly might be my favorite Spider-Man. It's a little bit hard to pick between him and Tom. <laughs> Definitely Toby was not my favorite Spider-Man, but I do still love his movies. <laughs> and yeah, if it's a Spider-Man movie, I cannot be objective in any way about it. It's just an automatic favorite no matter what. I've loved getting to see him in the MCU as well. Obviously the most recent Spider-Man movie was very exciting. And yeah, truly just Spider-Man is a top favorite character in general. Could, could not love it more. <laughs> so yeah, that was my list of top 10 favorite superhero products, I guess, movies and TV shows. Let me know down below some of your favorite superhero genre things. I hope you enjoyed watching, and now on to the quote for today's video, which today I have one from Brisinger by Christopher Paolini, and it goes, To while away the day contemplating evils that might have been is to poison the happiness that we already have. Thanks for watching. Remember, words matter.